Right guys, pitch perfect technique, how we can actually pitch it much better from 100 yards and in, get close to the hole, get making more chances for either birdies or pars, but making it, making it simpler, making this movement a lot simpler. I'm going to do a three part series on pitching. First one's about technique, which is this one. Next one is about distance control and the third one's about height control. I feel like if we can judge distance control and height control, from a pitch, we're not massively ever going to be that far right and left. So for me, distance control is much more important than, than direction control on a short shot. I'm going to talk to you today in this video about the control and how we can actually make a technique that is everlasting with every pitch that we play, with every club that we decide to pitch with. This technique is going to help you strike the ball a lot cleaner, hit ball and floor a lot easier, come through the ball relatively shallow, create lots of power, create lots of spin, and it's more repetitive, it's much easier to do. So I've, I've been incorporating a movement like this with a lot of my students for, for the last few months and I've seen a huge improvement in their consistency of distance control and the consistency of strike. And the things that I've been covering is making sure that we're using our body a lot more rather than just our arms. A lot of golfers will just be swinging the arms, leaving the body quite static and it, therefore we end up starting to flick hit it fat, hit it thin, add too much height, lose distance, and not really get the correct strike each time to measure accuracy and distance control. So I wanted to start to talk about moving the body a lot more and actually how we can operate our body with the arms attached to the body to create a much cleaner connection, a much cleaner strike. And it then became a lot clearer that the, the quality of connection and strike massively improved with most of the guys that I've been working with on it. So I want to talk to you about it today and talk you through all the, the principles of using your body more to pitch, how to pitch more perfectly, therefore eliminating arm action, eliminating bad strikes. I've got a 54 degree here, so effectively my sand wedge, but you can do this with every wedge that you carry, or even a 9-9, 9-9 all the way through to lob wedge. This technique from 100 yards and in is fantastic. And it's about how we can actually limit the arm activity and use the body rotation an awful lot more, actually start to turn the body and turn the core. To do that, we've got to set up in a way that would allow us to turn our body and allow us to turn our core. So ask, I see a lot of players setting up open, ask them kind of why do you set up open to your target? It's gonna say, I don't, I've kind of been told to do that, I don't really know why. The advantage of setting slightly open with the feet is it gives your hips a head start, so when they turn through the ball, they've already started a little bit open. So the hips can actually start to turn through the ball with that preset hip opening action already. So once you've got that, once you feel like you've got your setup with the alignment to the left, I would always advocate ball pretty much center of the stance, not too far right or left, not too far off the back foot because we can end up coming in too steep. And if we don't come in too steep as a player, we end up starting to lean back and adding loft too much artificially. So I'd always go middle of the stance and alignment to the left. From that position then, we're, we're trying to get the sternum, which I, I know I talk about a lot in iron shots, sternum more directly over the top of the golf ball. Not massively left, because again, we're going to get that leading edge going down and not be able to hit the ball shallow enough and get a great connection. Sternum just directly over the top of the ball. From this point now, grip as you would do normally. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to talk about every grip style ever. And just, I want, this is the big thing for me, I want you to feel like your armpits and your arms are staying tucked into your body. As if you've got something underneath your armpits, and you could do that, you could put a place, a towel or a head cover underneath your armpits, but I mean, you don't have to, a lot of players can just feel it. Just tuck your armpits inwards. Now, now those armpits are inwards, everything our body does, our arms have to do. So if I rotate my body back, my arms have to go back with it. If I rotate my body through, my arms have to go through with it. It doesn't give my arms any independence, which is great. It's what we want. We want a body rotation that's going to help deliver strike, help deliver that club down. So stance a little bit open because that allows us to turn our hips better. Ball position, centre, sternum over the top of the ball and armpits into the body. Now from this position now, once your armpits are into your body, you're going to turn back to halfway, rotate the hips, keeping the arms connected to your body, turn through the other way. And all the time your arms 
are really connected into your body. I'm going to turn my arms back, I turn my body back, turn my body through. I can always come through the ball shallow. Because of my preset up where my sternum was over the top of the ball, I'm hitting ball first and floor after and taking a very shallow divot, very, very shallow divot. So ball in the middle, feet open to allow the hip rotation, keeping the arms connected to my body. I'm gonna turn my body back, turn my body through, with all the time keeping those arms connected to my body. And every time my arms are connected there, notice on the way through, my arms have turned, but my, my body's turned, but my arms have still stayed really connected to my body. My arms aren't massively changing. They're not working independently, they're not loose, they're not doing their own thing. They're dictated by the body rotation. And I promise you, the strike quality, the strike quality is so much better. The, sh the divots I'm taking there have come through really shallow. I've not come into it too steep. I've not come into it with loads of lateral body rotation. I've not flicked. It eliminates so many bad habits. Alignment left, ball position middle, sternum over the top, keep the armpits tucked into the body, and then from there it's a rotation of the body. Rotate back, just turn the body back, and turn the body through. And just on one final note there, and we'll see that from the front camera here, I would never move to the right. As I went back, my body never moved over my right foot. It always stayed really central. Believe me, this style of pitching, when you're using your body, not your arms, is so much more consistent. The strike quality is fantastic. You're not trying to get the golf ball up in the air. You're not going to try and do much with the shot. Use the club, use the body. And as long as you get your preset up correct and rotate from your body, you're going to strike the ball a lot cleaner. So that's how the pitch perfect technique is gonna take place. The next video is all gonna be how we then judge distance control, how we actually dictate distance control and what you need to do to effectively judge distance control. Third video then is all about height control. So I think, I, I feel like it's very important if we can get distance control, we then get the height control so that we can actually pitch it into every circumstance on a golf course, whether the pin's at the front, whether it's at the back, into wind, downwind, whatever they may be, We've got everything covered. Guys, thanks for watching. As always, please do subscribe by clicking the big button down here. It's free to do. Comment, let us know what you think about the video. Check me out on Twitter, at Rick Shields PJ. Check me out on Facebook, Rick Shields fan page. We'll see you soon. Next video is all about distance control. You do not want to miss it. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you soon.